Hello students, we are going to take a quick review on the next chapter, chapter number 7, that is friction. Remember, this is also a part of loss of motion. That is the second part of loss of motion. So friction, we already know what is friction, the opposing force given to a uh, body which is already given an external force, that is uh, friction. We saw the introduction as well as it is a self-adjusting force, friction usually adjusts itself it is trying to increase so the stages of friction takes place in three stages static friction whenever you give a force to a body you just start giving a force immediately a friction will start it is a static friction when the body is not moving but still frictional force will be there because the external force is already acting here next one is called limiting friction because it will be like this at a point last point before the body starts moving further the maximum friction is called limiting friction that we already know and the next one is when the body is already on the motion the body is moving continuously because of the force that is called kinetic friction so the stages it is not type of friction it is stages of friction because the first stage is static friction the next stage is limiting friction when it before it starts moving and then the last part is kinetic friction so it breaks like this it goes to the top and then it comes like this and goes like this this is what the uh, thing that we have seen about the frictional force this is the frictional force and this is the external force this is the external force which is acting here and this is the limiting friction maximum friction is there and this is the uh, way, way in which it will keep on increasing frictional force increases as far as this one and then there's a the kinetic friction so this is fk and this is fl and this is fs we already know this one you have already seen this uh, things about laws of limiting friction so laws of limiting friction is there and as well as laws of kinetic friction is there and um, we have seen how this uh, graph also comes so graph also you know this one right and then we saw about an uh, important part called angle of repose what is angle of repose is so when the body just on the verge of started sliding down then that's called angle of repose that going to be the theta value so we saw this one so please learn angle of repose very carefully important Please learn this one very importantly. This one very important because there's a graph and then it shows all the three together. You need to know this one and the definition of various friction. Don't spend much time on the three factor. Keep on studying this one again and again. Static limiting friction this one. If you learn this particular part thoroughly and how it works, that is enough. So don't go so much into the uh, basics. Then the type of friction is there. The type of friction is sliding friction and rolling friction. These are all only stages of friction. This is type of friction. So sliding means when a body slides over another. Rolling means when a body is just on the roll part of it. Like it is just rolling one on the top of another one. So that is what the two differences. And it is given here. Please learn that what is rolling friction is also given here clearly. So please learn this sliding friction and rolling friction. And how rolling friction happens. What is the ways it happens. And this is the way in which it changes the uh, way in which it is related with the one another coefficient of friction and everything right then the last part with this it gets over it is a very small chapter last part is motion along inclined plane when the body is going up an inclined plane going coming down an inclined plane already i have done two derivations on this which includes friction earlier in loss of motion, the first one, Newton's law of motion, we saw inclined body is there and the body is going up and down. That doesn't have friction. But this is important. This derivation is important because it has friction included. So we have already done that derivation. Uh, I have done it already. Please take a look. This one, the book definition derivation, which is in given in page number 272, don't learn this. This is not going to come. They have given a different, very tough derivation, which is a little more um, higher in that thinking. Please don't learn this. It is very tough. And the next one also, page number 273 also. Don't learn this. I have already given it in the notes. Please study the notes. That's enough. And as we conclude this chapter, there's a um, final thing which comes as, which is e easier, push to push a roller or to pull a roller? So pushing and pulling with, with friction it comes. Please learn this one. It is also a very, very important part of it. You need to learn thoroughly this particular stuff. Okay. 
Now, frictional force is non conservative force, it is already given there what is non conservative force, and fr friction is a very necessary evil. The methods of reducing friction, these all things are there. Please learn this. Theory portion wise, it is very, very simple. And even if you look at the conceptual questions, very short answer questions and um, uh, the short answer questions, that is not much. Very short answer question which is given in page number 287, it has only 12, doesn't have much. And friction in daily based life also, it is very, very shortly given. Please take a quick look on this. And also, uh, short answer type questions also, it is very less. Only 6 questions are there, doesn't have much of things. So you can just take a quick look on it, right? And this has numericals also, not much in the exercise. That is only 11 numericals are there. So 11 exercise numericals only, it is given there. You can quickly do this. But remember, this numericals which is given there in the exercise are all quite a big questions. It was quite a lot of them had many components. If you look at this question and all, it is a lot of things are there. It has... Uh, the tension, it has an acceleration, it has a friction also included, everything is there. So it makes it a little more lengthy. But otherwise, if you do the Newton's law of motion and then you come to friction, then it is quite understandable. You will be able to easily make it. The equation to make is the main stuff. The equation to make here, look at this one. The equation to make here, here also the equation is made. Look at this one, equation is made. This you make it rightly, the whole numerical is correct. So, first thing is make all the stress in how to make this equation. If you look at this also, always you find there is a clear expression of the equation is made. How the force is applied, where it is and how it is, look at the force is going to be equal to this, the equation is made. And you make it um, very clear, concept wise you understand clearly and make it then it is quite easy. So, this, look at this also, the entire question is there and the equation is made in the very first place. Based on this, the entire thing it revolves. Okay, so try to do this one. Uh, this is not a big long chapter. It is a very small one. You can quickly try to take a quick review and do it. Um, there is only 19 numericals are there. Even these numericals also, some of them I didn't do it fully. Whatever it is done in the uh, notebook, do that much. That's enough. This whole thing, no, it will take one and a half hours. Half an hour for the entire derivations to do, one hour for the numericals to do. If you take a little more, it will take two hours. With that, you can easily cover up friction alone. It will take maximum two hours for you to do it. Alright children, thank you. Try to study well. Wish you all the best.